All right, tubes. Let me tell you what we're doing here. We're uh, going to make our own nickel plating. Uh, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, electrolyte. Electrolyte. Going to make some juice out of vinegar, vinegar and salt, and nickel rods, and uh, see what happens. What do you got here, Mike? This is our. Uh, it's our uh, 20 amp filtered DC power supply. We're going to see if this thing will uh, pump some juice to our electrolyte. Let's see here. All right, here you go. Here's a concoction right here. We got white vinegar, white distilled vinegar. Mm -hmm. now we're going to add a little bit of salt to get started here. Help the help the conductivity of the uh, of the mixture here. So we'll add some there and we're gonna. How much of this vinegar can I use? Whole thing? Fill it up? Yeah. Why not? All right. And we'll, uh, we'll stir it up. The heck is this? Attached. That's so you don't lose the lid. Oh, I got you. Some people don't use the whole jar. <laughs> Go get your nickel uh, anodes ready. What do you use for a cathode, Mike? Well, to, when you make the solution, oh, you, you use, use two both. nickels. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, let's get a little stick or something. We can stir that. Stir it down here, buddy. There's a paint stick. Dissolve all that salt. No, back here. You go. I gotta work. Wash some dirt off of that. Same paper. Oh uh, no, just That's get more. Get another one. Just put on. We don't want to contaminate our mixture here. This is science. All right, we got a paint stick, and then we're stirring up the salt. Yeah, just trying to dissolve it. Yeah, okay, it's dissolving pretty good. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll add a little bit more then. I don't think you can have too much salt. I mean, you may be able to, but I'm not, I'm not a chemist here. Hmm. So, They'll let us know. Yeah, they will. You too. Sure. So let's add a little bit more in there. there. I've seen some guys make it. They forgot to put the salt in it, but it just takes longer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that, but we'll see. Stir it up, see if we can get that all dissolved. If not, I mean, it'll just, I imagine it'll just sit at the bottom. It won't really damage anything. Mm. So, we'll do that and we'll, we'll stick our uh, uh, nickel in there, the anode and the cathode, and we'll hook up and we'll see what kind of current we can push through it. Now, I don't think you need all that much, maybe about an amp, uh, and we'll see what kind of voltage it takes to push an amp through here. So, look at that, it all dissolved already. Yeah. Alright, well, that's Smells good. like a nice Philadelphia hoagie. Yeah. South Philly hoagie. Alright. Alright, I'm going to scoot around the other side here, get a better view of your okay. machine and everything. How do you want to hold these on here? Are you filming? Yeah. Oh. How do you want to. Uh, I guess just with the. On there. Oh, I see what you're saying. You want to put some hooks in it or something? Well, either we can pop a little hole in here, maybe like a little alligator clip. I don't know if uh, maybe we can. Bill, can you hand me the test leads over there? Yes, sir. Hmm. We can just bend the wire over, and the alligator clip will hold it. I'm not sure. This one's a little boogered up. Yeah. Doesn't really have much holding power there. Hmm. All right, well, let's figure that out. Okay. All right. Drill little holes in it and uh, attach it to the anodes there, the little nickel uh, anodes. And uh, you're just going to have to uh, hook up a positive and a negative to it and then let it uh, cook overnight, right, Mike? Yeah, probably a couple of hours. I don't think it'll take all night. But the, that'll turn like a, like a bluish-green color after... Uh, hmm couple hours even after now you'll probably start noticing mm. uh, a tint to it at least I you know mm. at least I did when I tried it so I'll keep my eye on it yeah just kind of pinch these a little bit not too tight and uh, hook it up mm. well, so I'm curious to see what kind of current uh, we'll be able to the, uh, push through here. Uh, we're all hooked up here. We'll turn up the current. 
Yeah. Let's say it doesn't take much. Some people use a phone charger. Right. Right. So this should be overkill. Yeah, it's it is. doing something because I see bubbles forming on the. Uh, do you? Let me see what. Uh, yeah. Let's check our average. You can't always go by these analog. Uh, well, yeah. I, right now, I'm, I'm just going to measure the the voltage potential here. So we're at, at one and a half volts. I see the bubbles forming too, Bill. See them? On the negative side. Okay, I'm from the side, buddy. No, oh, sorry, buddy. Got something I can sit on here. Oh yeah, look at them. So we're at a volt and a half. Let me bring it up to. We're at 2.2. .2. We're probably really seeing four. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they just doubled. Yeah. Wow, look at them. Enter, enter, really starting to kick. Yeah, we're still. We're not even reading anything on the on the ammeter. Hmm. What are you reading on the voltmeter? One point or two point two. It's uh two and a half now. Oh yeah! Wow, look at. I don't know. I'm gonna try and get a little closer. It might go out of focus. There we go. Looks like it's still good. All right. Well, we're we're at two and a half volts. I'm gonna. Flip the meter around, and we'll uh, we'll see what kind of current it's drawing. So give me a second. You're gonna see the bubbles stop for a sec. Stand by. Amps ACDC. So we're at four tenths of an amp. 0.4 amps at two point. What did I say? Two point five volts. So. Not even half an amp, four tenths. Hmm. Still bubbling. I would call it bubbling profusely. Well, I'm curious to see what it looks like with a bit more. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it can really do much harm. Or crank it up. I mean, yeah, if you crank it up, it might not make any difference. Let's see. So, half an amp, six tenths, seven tenths. Eight tenths, eight eight, nine, nine nine, one amp. Hmm. So that's what one amp looks like. All right, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Why don't you just leave it at that? Well, let's see what the the analog meter says. We're about four volts. So let's let's check that. So give me a second while I reconnect the uh, meter here. So one amp, and we're pushing that. Oh, what am I on here? Five volts. Hmm. Is this thing beeping at me for? Volts DC. Range. Three volts. Volts. Right, we got that at, at five volts and uh, about one amp right now, huh, Mike? Yep. And uh, we're going to leave that, and I'm going to check it in about an hour or two hours. These guys will probably leave by then, but uh, I'll keep my eye on it, and uh, I'll let it go. You know, we'll see. I wanted to make it look like what? Sort of like antifreeze, maybe a light antifreeze, like an uh, Gatorade. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Hmm. Okay. It won't be quite that, quite that uh, vivid green, but you, mm -hmm. you'll notice it. Right. Alright, I'll check back with you guys in a couple of hours. Alright, it's been an hour and a half. How's it look, Mike? It's getting there. I'm it, starting to it get is. that kind of greenish blue color there. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to say let's go a little further. It's still, oh, yeah. it's still cooking though. I don't know if you guys can see that down there, but uh, look at it. Look at that thing cooking, cooking away. Alright, we'll check it in another couple of hours. Alright. Yeah, it's been percolating there for about uh, four hours. It's still going strong. And uh, it would just keep doing that all night long if I wanted it to. But uh, get a nice color to it, you know, a nice bluish, uh, greenish tint. So uh, I'm going to shut it off and uh, start up and see what it looks like. All right, I'm going to shut this off here and uh, see what happens. Okay. There we go. 
to stop him. Alright, let's open up. All that percolating, you think uh, you'd lose a lot of your uh, anode, but uh, actually it doesn't look different at all. Yeah, it looks a little cloudy, but uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> 